Grant, Paul John. Or had you had a great Tom Riley, Vasahi, Bell and Cornell, Fasala Mendam Dani, Manawedi Borunol, and Sikir Venethon Wamatep. Well, did my sure bet at the Basna, my Vantes, at my guys, but Chris Clayton with the Cali Isle. Well, games will end them. The Cali Nico Bud. He's working down in the game, basically, Todd. Yeah, well, can you well know? Gareth. Matthew Nettol. Hey, boy, Gareth Morris. I'm a Gornel. I'm a immune. Why is God... He's on. Get on with it. And the Maha Nelka Blair last bit. I think it'll be this week. I think I'll pass me on. Oh, boss, if that's it. I'm going to go to the back of the door. I'm going David Lockyer. I'm in Riga. I'm going to go to the back of David Lockyer. I'm going to go to the back of the door. I'm going to go to the back of the door. Rayling Codir Bell Rear, I Flanagan, a Garra them a Chris Clayton, a Chris Clayton, and Troy Mediant. Ponte Freed and Clemmy in ruins it all now, after no. Horak Aventer, a dime where Peraglis is with the lot. And me, Mount and Yerbino, a Ponte Dora Thunder Bell. Well, Dan Boy says, I'll work for kick off. Well, Bishop Johannes, you read the region of Mount. And then I hear Parks and Kerry of Blinders Gether and Nady White for now, and then it's a Bell Rear. She's been. Oh! Oh, and there it goes. A foul from Can Molodin. Jonathan Bryant, that goes. The man here tackle Arventa. And I read today they're going to be mounted at the gate. Bryant and Cobra and Young are made in aid by the Soria Idin and the ceremony. Dyna nol chi nôl a lawr a mynd am y bel yn syth Fenter yn cadw i afael ar noi Mae'n cicgoff, mae nhw'n cegan, mae nhw'n cael degza Ac mae nhw'n cael mynd am y pyst Adim yn white yesterday After keeping the faith at Sardis Road For almost two decades I could bite like a tarantula Right through the skin And leave my poison right through These days, if a player spends 18 months with one team he wants a loyalty bonus. Try 18 years. Try Dale McIntosh and his passion and pride for Pontypridd. Yesterday was his 452nd game, and also his last. The most important thing is uh, is meeting meeting good good mates and friends and and watching them come and go and over the 18-year period. Um, been through my fair share of coaches and good coaches at that, and good guys. Uh, you know Neil Jenkins, who was an absolute icon in this area. Young Martin Williams, you got your Full Johns, the Nigel Benzani's, and the Mark Lowry's in the process. Uh, absolutely phenomenal. And is there one game here that will stick out in your mind when you uh, finish? It's probably three or four. You know, obviously the Bath game was huge for us. Because we we're unknown identity then, and uh, we were written off um, previously as Bath had such a tremendous sign, and all the talk was about Jason Robinson and Henry Paul signing from rugby league, and, and we were supposed to have 40 points put on us. Uh, didn't quite work out that way. Robinson, Mackintosh, phenomenal tackling. To be honest with you, I've tried to treat it as just another game in all respect to the opposition and, and the players, but um, coming here today, I've got a funny feeling that it's not going to be quite quite uh, of the ordinary sense. Um, it'd be quite emotional, I suppose. Uh, I can't burst out into tears before the game, obviously, but um, hopefully, you know, um, people will appreciate that. I do respect uh, this club. I, I appreciate everything they've done for me over the years. You can still get around the field. Any chance of a few one-off comebacks? Uh, my village, I'll probably have a run out for my village in the green and reds of Anazabul, but uh, that's about it. Uh, I'll spend my time up there and uh, hopefully put uh, my experience into fruition as a coach down here. Lovely. Great. Good, Good man. Thanks, Dave. <laughs> A 
message on the Scrum 5 message boards this week was from a long-suffering opponent. He said he'd been splattered in a tackle by the Chief and described it as an honour and a privilege. Graham Thomas with uh, Dale McIntosh. Uh, we have a splattered by the Chief. Uh, no, he's too quick, I think. Uh, <laughs> too quick and too evasive. Now, especially if he's watching, this isn't meant uh, disrespectfully, Dale, honestly. The great thing about him is that it, the aura and legend around him is arguably greater than the player that Dale McIntosh was. He brought an awful lot more to the table than just playing ability. Well, I think that's important, and that's what Dale has done, you know. He's, he's been a tremendous servant for Pontypris Rugby and, and a great ambassador on the field for Pontypris Rugby. And I think those values that Dale carries are really sort of um, sometimes missing in the modern game. Someone that, that, that plays from the heart, someone that brings the best out of the players around him. And I think that is a, sometimes a greed, an ingredient that's missing in the modern game because I think sometimes we look at stats and different things and like you said, uh, ability-wise and football and ability. But I think rugby is such a game where you need people of uh, those ingredients that I talk about to bring out the best of playmas, playmakers about you. You know, you get show ponies in rugby teams, you get, uh, you, you know, glory boys, but you need someone that pulls it all together and that ingredient is what Dale McIntosh brought to Pontypris for, for many seasons and uh, he'll be sorely missed, a great player. Kingsley, I know you know Dale quite well actually, he was a, a star guest at your wedding and had a, a role looking after Andrew Sheridan, the England pro. Yeah, that's right. You yeah. better explain. Yeah, he played uh, Andrew Sheridan with about uh, 11 points a strong boy, I think, by <laughs> 6 o'clock. Andrew's uh, married to a girl from Bilthwell, so uh, I'd never seen him drunk before, but he started singing Cal on Lan then, uh, word for word, didn't get anything wrong, and of course the Maori boys and the Gwent boys, we didn't quite know the words ourselves, so uh, it was a good day, but I had to keep him from the chief after 6 o'clock, but uh, no, I agree with Gary, you know, what a, what a personality, and, and he just, he, he's everything about the club, you know, there's not many people bigger than the club, but uh, if there's anyone... Dale is almost that person. And you've still got the bags under your eyes. I've still got a few scars <laughs> and a few... Uh, I put him down more and he put me down, no honest. <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, unfortunately, as is sadly usual at this time of year, the